I've had the privilege of working on hundreds of new products over the last 12 years. Many of these are now turning over more than a million pounds every year. In this video, I'm gonna reveal the secrets of their success. I'm gonna share five examples and you can use them to understand what it really takes to turn that gem of an idea into a commercially successful product, turning over more than a million pounds annually. Here's the twist. At the end of the video, I'm gonna share the common threads running through all of these projects that I believe makes them successful, and it isn't what you think. Let's dive into our first case study. This is Redback Knee Pads. It uses a unique rubber spring technology to ensure that actually it always is providing the right cushioning for people who are on their knees a lot, like roofers and carpet fitters. Now this launched a critical acclaim. It's done really well. They even now have a joint venture with Caterpillar. They are selling in household names like tooled up and screw fix and they're also selling internationally. Now since its launch this product has brought in way more than a million pounds for the founders and they've reinvested a lot of that in developing new products with that technology as well. Next up is Skip Light. This is a relatively simple product. It's a light to go on either traffic cones or skips or on scaffolding. It basically is aimed at industry and it helps keep workplaces safe. Surprisingly, for such a simple product, it has now sold over 152,000 units, turning over way more than a million pounds, and it's got a whole range to go with it, and is available through hire shops and all sorts of other major outlets for industrial equipment. Before we go on to the next example, please just take one moment to hit like and hit subscribe. It really helps the channel. Let's move on to magnet tips. Now this is a set of felt tips with a difference. There's a magnet in either end, which means you can create all sorts of fun shapes and it's basically a high-end executive toy. It's done really well and within six months of launch, the client had raised over £435,000 through Kickstarter and Indiegogo crowdfunding campaigns. So it got through the million pound turnover barrier very quickly indeed, and it's now selling internationally. We're gonna talk about a very different product called Grip Hero next, but before then, if you wanna launch a million pound product, check out the free ebook that I've written. It's in the description below. Get your copy today. Grip Hero is an innovative solution that stops you getting petrol or diesel on your hands when you're filling up at a petrol station. It dispenses these gloves right from a device that's clipped onto the petrol nozzle itself. Now this has done fantastically well. The company now employs over 10 people and it's doing a great job of getting into petrol stations all over the UK and I've seen it on my recent holiday up in Scotland even. So last but certainly not least is the QFollow electric golf trolley by Stuart Golf. We worked on this with their in-house team of engineers. This is a golf trolley that follows you around the golf course. It's very clever technology, and this has done fantastically well. Stuart Golf is now, according to the Sunday Times, one of the 100 fastest growing companies within the UK, and their growth is phenomenal. So just before I reveal the common thread that I think is running through all of the successes of these different projects, and they are very different projects, do take a moment to check out the link in the description below. If you're looking to launch a million pound product, then get in touch. You can book a call with one of the experienced designers on my team. Let's get your million pound product journey started. So what's the common thread? Well, all these products solve a genuine problem that the users are experiencing. Now with magnet tips, that genuine problem is a little bit harder to see, but I think it's the problem of what do you buy a guy who has everything on Father's Day, on his birthday or for Christmas. So I think it's a gift purchase and that's the problem that that one's solving. Hopefully the problems are obvious with the other four. Now there is one other factor and that is timing, particularly with Grip Hero and actually with Stuart Golf. The COVID pandemic meant that their sales went through the roof. Everyone was very worried about touching petrol pumps that other people were touching because of the pandemic. And because of the COVID pandemic, the market for golf trolleys went through the roof because actually that was one of the things you could still go and do. 
So there's two major lessons there. Make sure you're solving a genuine problem by the product that you're launching and also make sure it's the right time to launch your product. Now do check out this next video. It goes into some of the common mistakes that I see startups making again and again with their product development journeys. Now I want you to be successful and to launch a million pound product. So learn the lessons in this video. Click on it straight away and I'll see you there.